Hi, welcome to Tulane Thai Cuisine. My name is Chef Charlie. Today we're going to show you home chefs how to do the Tulane sea bass with ginger sauce. Follow me. First thing you're going to need are two eight ounce portions of Tulane sea bass, a couple leaves of Napa cabbage, green onions, mushrooms, red and green peppers, red onions, yellow onions, ginger, fresh snow peas, and carrots, and soy sauce, and the two difficult ingredients to it will be available at any Asian market, Golden Mountain soy sauce and oyster sauce. Now, uh, I get mine at Fortune Cookie on Forest Hill. Also, you're going to need some chicken broth, a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of oil, and some minced garlic. And finally, a half a cup of white wine. You're going to get your two largest Napa cabbage leaves. You're going to place your sea bass right in the middle of them. You're going to wrap these like a parcel. Take two pinches of ginger and place it on top. Now, once the heat hits the leaves, it's going to wilt. Now, you want to use a plate before you put it in your steam basket. There's three reasons for this. One, it's easier for you home cooks out there to remove it from the basket. Two, you're gonna cook with indirect steam. And finally, all those juices that are gonna drain out from the fish are gonna be captured here. At the end of it, if you choose, you can take those juices and put them right across the fish to capture that flavor. Now when steaming, you don't want your water to be a rolling boil. What you wanna do is have the water bubbling over for about 20 to 25 minutes. The next uh, trick is the cornstarch slayer, which we're going to use as a thickening agent. Simply just add a little bit of cold water to your cornstarch, and you just want to mix around. First, we're going to combine the sauces together in a bowl. Add the Golden Mountain soy sauce, the light soy sauce, finally, the oyster sauce. Combine it. Add about a half a cup of white wine. Turn on your saucepan at home, and you're going to combine. You don't want it to boil. You don't mind seeing a few bubbles, but you want to continue stirring for a few minutes. We're going to add the remainder of your ginger. Continue stirring for about a minute or two, and we're going to put that sauce to the side. Now we're going to start with the vegetable base. We're going to add our oil, the garlic, and the onions. We're going to let that sweat and saute down a little bit. You want to keep on moving. After about a minute, you're going to add the rest of your ingredients. Snow peas, green onions, mushrooms, red and green peppers, and finally carrots. We're going to add a little bit of chicken broth. Now we're going to finally add our sauce. Again, you want to keep stirring. 30 seconds before you're about to finish, you're going to add that cornstarch slurry. And voila. 25 minutes has passed. Your sea bass at this moment should be finished. Remove the plate from the basket. And as you can see, the Napa cabbage has formed around the sea bass. That's on top of the vegetables. And this is the Tulane sea bass. For you home cooks out there, I salute you. My name is Chef Charlie. I'm the chef and owner fine institution that I just jacked up really bad. Give me two more seconds. One, two, three. Combine it with the Golden Mountain sauce. <laughs> this is sauce. Awesome. <laughs> it sucks. Follow me.